Hey guys, I just want to go over something that's come up recently a couple times. It's on an EC-135 helicopter. Pilot called me up in the middle of the night and he had a patient on board and he was about to take off, take him to another hospital. And he called me up and he said, hey, I've got this problem right here. And it says, fuel pressure input fail. What do I do? So we're going to go over how this happens and what you can do to uh, fix this. It's pretty simple. Or it could be a simple fix. If you go to the EC-135 flight manual, starting engines and system checks, right here on this note, it says if input fail appears in conjunction with the appropriate cautions, the cautions will not be provided during flight, so abort the pre-flight check and maintenance action is required. That's why he's calling you. So if your pilot gets this problem, he's going to call you, and what you're going to say to him is, hey, go ahead and look in your overhead switching panel and tell me what, uh, what position the fuel prime pumps are in. So if the fuel prime pumps are on when you power up the aircraft, you may get this caution. So you just say, hey, go ahead and turn off your prime pumps, turn off the helicopter power, and then repower it up normally and then follow the checklist, right? Follow the flight manual. So the reason this happens is because when you power up the aircraft with the prime pumps on, the prime pumps turn on and they provide fuel pressure. The aircraft is expecting to see no pressure on that switch or that switch is supposed to be open. And then the aircraft computer considers that to be an error or a broken switch. That's why you get the input fail. So when you power up the aircraft, make sure the prime pump is turned off. So once you, when you turn on the prime pumps, you'll get the prime pump caution telling you that they're on. And then also you may or may not have the fuel pressure caution go out. On the number one side, the fuel pressure did not go out. You see there, but on the right side, the fuel pressure is gone. So that might be another thing that we need to talk about. Okay. So you also may have a pilot come by and he might say to you, Hey, there's something wrong with this helicopter. When I turn the prime pumps on, the fuel pressure doesn't go out. And he's going to say there's something wrong. And you say, hey, go to the flight manual, starting procedures and system checks right here. Turn on your fuel prime pumps. And what's it say right here? It says you turn them on, prime pump caution indication comes on, and both fuel pressure caution indications should go off. Yeah, that sounds like he's right, right? But if you read that note right underneath there, the note right underneath turning on the prime pumps, it says caution fuel pressure one and two may remain on when en when the engine one or two is not running. Sometimes it just isn't enough fuel pressure from the prime pumps to close the fuel pressure switch and make the caution light go out. So I've seen this happen quite often on multiple aircraft, but it's not a, it's not a problem because once the engine starts and the engine driven fuel pumps work or start working, then it's way more pressure than you need to take the caution off. So one other thing, if you, if we go back to the flight manual under standard startup procedures, it's pretty much number one. After battery master switch is switched on, the low rotor RPM audio tone appears. Do not press the reset push button until the end of the CPDS test. Otherwise, the input fail caution logic may be corrupted. That means if you, if you hit the reset while it's still um, booting up and you have this problem and you actually have a bad switch, then it won't tell you that you have an input fail because you already reset it and it what, what does it say right here? The input fail caution logic may be corrupted. Interesting. All right, so that's a good note to know. All right, that's just a quick review. Um, hopefully that'll get you out of a bind or a jam. Anyway, if you know that, then you could just tell them over the phone, hey man, turn your prime pumps off. Or you'd have to go out of service. You'd have to drive out there and start troubleshooting and probably order a fuel pressure switch, which in this case, you wouldn't have need, needed to do that anyway. All right, I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you found some value in it, and I'll see you guys next time.